Welcome to Dig in Seattle. And this show is about garden trends. And I love this first trend. It's rustic meets refined. Now, rustic is like whiskey barrels or reclaimed lumber aloft. And refined is like a crystal chandelier hanging from an old barn uh, in a, or an industrial loft. And refined is also white roses. White flowers are so pure and beautiful that it's kind of like the crystal chandelier of the plant world. Um, now we're going to talk about how to use these beautiful white flower carpet roses in a rustic setting, but in the shade you can also do this rustic meets refined example. These are white hydrangeas setting in a very rustic basket. Now it's the texture, the really dark texture set against the bright white of these hydrangeas that make this container so contemporary yet so classic. So let's see how you can get that same look using the roses. Now first of all, I do not enjoy potting any rose into a container that's going to take a lot of spraying to keep it healthy. That's why I recommend you use a rose like the flower carpet rose. These are also called landscape roses because they're used in the landscape. They don't need spraying. They're more drought resistant. Um, you don't need to do any special pruning on them and they're easy to find. You can find them in, um, uh, at independent nurseries in green pots like this. You can also find them at big box stores sold in pink pots. Uh, they come in colors like this beautiful apricot color. They also, um, another great color is this really gorgeous red that stands out. And um, you buy them in the pots, bring them home, plant them in the ground. We'll be showing you how to do that later on. But let me show you how I like to do it in a pot. Now, what's really cool about the flower carpet roses, they come sold with not only a tag, but sometimes the independent nurseries especially will attach some flower carpet easy care flower food. So what you do is when I plant in a container, I just go ahead and add the fertilizer to the potting soil. Now this container is probably about the smallest that I would use for doing a flower carpet rose and it's going to be happy in this container for maybe one or two years, after which point the roots are going to spread out, I'll move it to the ground. So I'm going to mix in the fertilizer a little bit. I'm going to turn it upside down and bang it on the side of the pot. And now it slides right out. Now I'm going to loosen the root balls just a little bit. And make sure that you plant your rose at the same level that it was growing at before. So that's about the right level. Then you add the potting soil all around it. Okay. So once I get this all filled in with potting soil, then I'm going to take this rose and place it someplace where you can really highlight the rustic versus the refined. So let me show you where that is. All right. This rustic old chair, I'm not going to clean it up because once I set this pot and the rim of the pot happens to fit perfectly into the chair seat, this is going to bloom all summer. You can see all the buds. It's going to be covered with beautiful white roses. It'll really play up the rustic elements with the refined flower carpet roses.